Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today we're going to take a look at the Perfumers Workbook from perfumersworld.com. This is version 19.4 and it is the free version. Now, this is the downloadable uh, piece of software uh, that you can download to your desktop. And basically what I want to talk about in this video is just how to write up your formula using this piece of software. So we're going to use it in its most basic form. Now, there are a few different areas that I want to highlight. It is worth bearing in mind that with the free version, you do um, have an old uh, inventory list and you don't have the ability to update uh, the inventory with the current inventory that you can find on perfumersworld.com. So there are going to be some oils that Perfumers World stock now that they didn't stock uh, in the past uh, that aren't going to be available in this database. Now you have to pay for um, the full version if you want to update the database and indeed if you want to add your own inventory to the database you again have to pay for the full version. Now you can write up your own formula um, but as with the Perfumers Wizard in the last video which is um, a, a, an online uh, software which basically the algorithm creates a perfume for you so it's tied into that business model and if you need a fragrance for a product, so something like soap or shampoo or indeed a perfume, then it kind of helps you to create a perfume uh, that you can use uh, in your, well, with your product. Now, there's a similar um, part of this software whereby it designs a perfume for you. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate that first of all. And then we're going to do a few things to that formula to show you the creative aspect of this piece of software. So if we go to the right hand side here and we look at create using the graphic order designs wizard. And basically what this, this is going to bring up this screen. And basically what you need to do is you need to decide what kind of perfume you want to make. So as you can see, we've got a whole list of things here. And if we just leave the cursor over one of them, it will tell us the notes that it's, you know, the, the, the notes associated with a cool aroma blend. Um, and um, that's kind of like what, it, what it's going to come up with is materials which relate to those notes. Uh, so as you can see, it's quite comprehensive. We've got a, several different types of uh, perfume. Um, let's just stick with a classic type of perfume. So we'll click on Chifra. Uh, as you can see there, these are all the notes relating to a Chifra perfume. And we're going to click on the next button. Now here we get to name. Uh, do we get to name this? Let's see if we can delete anything. Yes. So we get to name uh, the perfume. Um, uh, is it for a male? Is it for a female? Uh, order description, list main descriptors and heart notes first, then top notes, then base notes. So this is all editable. Um, here we have a list of the notes. Let's see if we can press. Yes. So you can press enter. You can add some more notes to this. Uh, tone, uh, product, function, ingredients, packaging, color, market, country, demograph, age. So this is all designed to help you create a perfume, uh, taking into account uh, who you're making the perfume for, uh, the, the age specific group, uh, what country you're marketing it in, uh, all that kind of thing. Uh, and it, it helps you to um, answer all the questions that you need to know in order to make a specific perfume. So it's to get you away from making a perfume aimlessly uh, and just, you know, throwing stuff together, but not really having, uh, 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 not really knowing what the outcome is going to be. So we're just gonna click on the next button. We're not gonna fill in any of this extra information. We're just gonna let the algorithm work with what we have. So here we have basically a percentage breakdown of the perfume. So this is the ABCs of perfumery, which is how Perfumers World categorize all of the different materials. So alphatic, for instance, you're going to get all your aldehydes in here. Um, so if we look in the percentage column, we can see that 2.5% is alphatic, 1.8% uh, is iceberg, 6% citrus, 0.30% uh, dairy, 
1.60% fruit, 2.60% uh, green, 2.10% iris, 13% jasmine, 5% conifer, 5% linalool, 3.5% uh, muget. Um, let's see, and that's it. Is it? No, it's not. Um, narcotic, 3.3%, orchid, 4.50%, phenol. 1.50% balsam, 3.30%, 17.60% rose, 8% spice, 2.60% animal, 1.30% vanilla, 7% wood, 7.50% musk, and that all totals up to 100. So, um, can you alter these? No, you can't. Oh yes, you can. So you can alter these percentages. So it seems to be very similar to the Perfumers Wizard. It just looks a little bit differently. Um, we'll just stick five in there. Uh, we're gonna click on next now. Um, so we'll make that 100% first. And then we'll click on next. And now what you've got is the visual representation of uh, everything that you've just seen on the previous screen. And we're gonna click next again. Uh, list materials for specific applications, flavor materials, only materials with stock codes, etc. Note that solutions are filtered out. Okay, let's just say we'll use all 888 materials in the database. Um, maximum number of materials in four, 10, and 90. So not quite sure what this is referring to. Let's just say with water, ethanol, and oil. Let's click next. Um, optional, right, this is just a save. Let's click on finish. Uh, press, please start a formula in column formula. What do you want to write? Just asking us to, for permission to start a formula. Click on yes. Let's give it a name. Let's just call it example. And let's click on OK, and now we have the formula. Now the algorithm has designed this formula based on the information uh, that we fed into uh, the algorithm. So this is basically the perfume. Now, I don't know how that smells. I haven't made it up and I don't intend to, but you certainly can make this up. It looks quite compli complex. It's got 50 materials, but there was the ability to drop down the amount of materials that the algorithm was going to use. So you can make it far more simple. Now, in this column, we have all of the amounts. Now, the, 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 the creative aspect of this that I really want to highlight is, is it can be found in the wizard section. But just before I go to the wizard section, I just want to show you how to uh, add an oil. So basically, the, 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 the piece of software has created this formula for us. We just imagine that that formula wasn't there. What you would do is now, here we have the database of materials, okay? So when you've got something highlighted that you want to add to your formula, you would just click on the plus above, or you can also access formula materials and click on add material to formula, but that's the long way of doing it. So basically all we're doing, let's just say we want to add this, click on it, click the plus, and then it asks us to add a quantity. Now, if we hadn't started our formula yet, it would ask us first to name our formula, and then it would ask us to uh, decide how much we want to add to our formula. So let's just add a gram of that, and let's just click OK. And then as you can see on the bottom now, it has added that material to our formula. Now that's pretty simple, pretty basic, and we don't really need to spend any more time there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to click on the wizard section, and we're going to click on auto modification, okay? And we want to modify the tone. We also want to visit this section, which is to make an accord. First of all, though, we'll make, uh, we'll modify the tone. So if we go back to this side of the screen, we can modify the top notes, the middle notes, the bottom notes, the strength, the freshness, the floweriness, the depth, and the smoothness. So let's, um, let's click on middle note. Let's click on 80%. Let's click on next. Let's pay attention to our formula. And as you can see, some of the amounts changed for some of the oils that you can find in, uh, well, all of the middle notes really. So we've increased the middle notes, so it's self-explanatory what it's what's gonna happen with if we were to go back to modify tone or balance and choose top notes or bottom notes. So we really don't need to go over that anymore. 
If we click on strength, now what this is going to do is it's going to increase the strength of your perfume. So we'll, we'll choose 80% to make it noticeable. We'll click on next and then we'll click on finish. And as you can see, amounts have changed again. So that's increasing the strength of your perfume. Now, if we click on um, freshness, guess what that's going to do? Yeah, you've guessed it. It's going to uh, increase the freshness of our perfume. We'll choose 80% again and we'll click on next and pay attention to the amounts in our formula. I actually didn't notice anything changing there. Um, hmm, curious. Let's try floweriness, 80%. Let's click on next, finish, and that uh, changed our formula. So that's increased the floweriness. Let's go to modify tone again. Let's click on depth. Uh, I believe this will add a lot of materials to our formula. I could be wrong. 80%, click on next. Uh, yes, this is going to add materials to our formula to give our, our perfume more depth. We'll just click on use any materials and we'll click finish and it's added a lot more materials to our formula. As you can see now we have 77 materials in this formula. So this formula is a really, um, it's a really big formula. Uh, and if you wanted to sell your perfume, this is going to cost a fortune. Um, to uh, uh, get a chemist to, to, to look through this formula to make sure it's safe. Uh, but yeah, you as I say, you can adjust uh, the number of materials to start with. Um, so let's click on modify tone balance, the last one, smoothness. Let's click on 80%, click on next, and then finish, and all of the information has changed again. Now, in a nutshell, that's that, okay? And you can play around with that, you can experiment with it, and you can see what you come up with. Now, the other part of the wizard section is, if we go to back to here, Auto Modification Formula 1, and we go to Make an Accord. So what this is to do with is the relative order impact, and each, um, each oil has been assigned a number, by the perfumer's world. And it's all based on linalool being 100. So everything is either weaker than linalool, the same as linalool, or stronger than linalool. And perfumer's world have already did all this work for you. And the algorithm already has all of that information at hand. So the idea is the main theme of your perfume, what you wanna do is you wanna bring all of those oils into the headspace of the perfume so that they can create a brand new smell. So you have equilibrium between them all. Um, this is basically the Jean Cols method, but this, uh, the Jean Cols method involves a lot of practical work and this relies on maths uh, and just a basic calculation. So it's really fast and it's really quick. Um, but it, you know, if you're using this piece of software, you can only use the materials that the perfumers will sell. And if you add some materials uh, to the database, they aren't going to be a part of the relative order impact um, aspect because they're not going to have a number assigned to them. Uh, so you do need to bear that in mind. It's only going to work with the inventory from the perfumers world. But yeah, linear code that basically relates to the main theme of your perfume. You're talking about bass notes and you're talking about heart notes. So if we click on linear record and we click next and we click finish, all the amounts change again. Uh, but what we've done is we've actually made the whole perfume uh, a linear accord. But when it comes to the more volatile oils, so we're referring to top notes, you have to do an inverse accord. So let's go to modify tone again. Uh, sorry, not modify tone. Let's go back up to wizards, auto modification formula one, and let's go to make an accord and then we'll click on an inverse accord. So linear accord, what that's, what basically the calculation is 100, which is the number for linalool. And then 100 is divided by the relative order impact of each material that you're using. But an inverse record, you, reverse that calculation, you invert it. So it's no longer 100 divided by the relative order impact of each oil. It is the relative order impact of each oil divided by 100. And the reason why this is done, and I've explained this in previous videos, is that um, you need to put less of the more volatile oils into your formula. That way they will, they will 
end up evaporating with the rest of your perfume and they will sort of be contained within that perfume but if you don't do this then what you what happens is once those top notes will evaporate they will do so rather aggressively and they will create a very noticeable step in your perfume and instead of having this slow decline from top to heart to heart to base it'll just be a really abrupt drop and that you want to avoid that in your perfume uh, so that's why you would use an inverse accord now because of that you would kind of separate your formula into two and you would have your the main theme of your perfume you would perform the linear accord and then separately you would have all of your, your volatile oils your top notes and you would perform an inverse accord and then you will put those two things together uh, so if I click on inverse accord there and I click on next and then click on finish again all of the information changes and that's basically what I wanted to highlight with this piece of software because I think that if you know is it cheating that the the, the algorithm creates a, a formula for you well yes kind of and I certainly don't want to um, take this formula and say yeah this is my perfume that I made because I want to make my own perfume but I do think that it's educational I do think that it introduces you to perfumersworld.com, um, the, the relative order impact, the philosophy, the way that they teach perfumery, the ABCs of perfumery, relative order impact, um, and getting to, to fit, because I think what it taught me was, I think that you do need to build your, your instinct for perfume and for your materials, and you need to make perfume without this knowledge. I, I do believe that. But I think that when you are then refining your process, you also need to think about it a little bit more scientifically and a little bit more mathematically. And th that's what this allows. It allows you to gain the knowledge uh, of refinement to, you know, start to look at things a little bit differently and think about them a little bit differently and, and to try and have a little bit more control. Um, and the two things put together will make you a better perfumer. Now, I wouldn't call myself a perfumer. I haven't been to perfumery school, but I make perfume. Um, so I would recommend this for educational purposes, for creative purposes, and you know, just for progressing you on your perfume journey. I really do think that this piece of software is beneficial. As I say, with the paid version, you do get, uh, I mean, this section here, advanced, it is grayed out. I'm not too sure what you can do there. Um, but certainly you can update the database, you can add your own oils to the database. Um, and you, the other cool things that you can actually do is, is that this piece of software will analyze your perfume and it will tell you if it's going to be a good perfume, if it will work well in a, as a soap, as a fragrance for a soap or a shampoo or a talcum powder or any other kind of cosmetic product you can think of. And it will tell you how, how well it will perform, which is something that's really, really beneficial. So if you don't just make perfume, but you also make soap or something, you can use this piece of software to make a fragrance for your for your other products, um, your other beauty products. It also has a, this flavor application performance, but I don't know anything about using molecules as flavors, so I'm not even gonna go there. Um, memo for the for the open formula. Um, okay, so this gives you information about your perfume. So we have this uh, formula and it basically tells you that our formula has a relative order impact uh, of 350. So it's a, it has a pretty good relative order impact. Uh, and the order life is 121.68. Um, so yeah, and it tells you what our top notes are, our heart notes, our base notes. Um, it tells you, it's, look, it's suggested that it's used in alcoholic perfumes and colognes, incense and in joysticks and it's not suitable to be used in flavors. So there's a lot of information there. Now, if you imagine you want to sell your perfume, this is a good piece of kit to have. If you, you know, to conceptualize your perfume, to put it together, to run trials, uh, and to really have all that information in front of you to know uh, how strong your perfume is, the odor life that your overall perfume has, to be able to read all of the notes of your perfume. This will also help you 
to um, talk about your perfume and to describe your perfume and also you know that it's it, you know you could use it as an alcoholic perfume you could use it uh, in incense uh, so you know it, it, it gives you a lot of information it's very very useful if you're looking at your perfume formulas um, to, to have a function uh, in, a, in a product that you want to sell um, so yeah, I do recommend this piece of software. I do think it's a little bit expensive if you actually want to buy it and I, I think you can't buy it outright. I think you have to buy it per annum. I could be wrong. I'll have to check that out and I will check that out and put the information down below so don't worry. Um, it does also price up your uh, formula. Um, as you can see, this one is quite expensive for a gram. Uh, but another thing that's really beneficial to have if you intend to uh, sell your perfume and you intend to buy your materials from the perfumers world, you will know exactly how much it will cost to make, which will help you to uh, cost your final uh, product. So yeah, this gets the thumbs up from me in terms of creativity uh, and just general fun really. I think it's a really fun, uh, uh, it makes perfumery a lot more um, uh, approachable, you know. Uh, it's not so daunting because it does a lot of the calculations for you. So if you're a beginner, you know, I do think that you can you can pay attention to what the algorithm has put together, which materials it's chosen, and it gives you sort of ideas of, of how to use certain materials. So it definitely definitely gets the thumbs up from me. So that's all I have time for today. I'll be back uh, with another video in the next couple of days. I'll go over the piece of software that I'm currently using, uh, which is very, very comprehensive. I really like the aesthetic of it. Um, and more to the point, it's absolutely free. So stay tuned uh, and I'll be back shortly. In the meantime, have fun making perfume and thanks very much for watching.